Hey everyone, here's a question on rational numbers. The question is, find the rational number between 3 by 8 and 2 by 5. Now, remember, there are infinitely many rational numbers between the two given rational numbers. So, how to find out these rational numbers? So, there are many methods and this is the best method I feel like you can use to find out the rational numbers. So, first step is you have to check the denominators. Here we have 8 and 5. So, if the denominators are same, then you can skip the first step. If they are not same, like in this case we have 8 and 5, they are not same. We are going to make them same. So, you want the rational numbers where the denominators are same. So, what we are going to do here, how can we make the denominators of these two numbers same? We are going to find the LCM of the denominator that is LCM of 8 and 5 which is 40. So, we are going to change the denominators to 40. So, we are going to find out the equivalent rational number of 3 by 8 and 2 by 5 where denominator is 40. That is it. So, here I have 3 by 8. We are going to find the equivalent rational number. So, instead of using 3 by 8, I am going to use other number where denominator is 40. So, how to find out the equivalent rational numbers? So, you have learned that we can uh, get the equivalent rational number by multiplying. One more way is dividing, but if you divide, we will not get 40, right? So, we are going to multiply 8 by a number such that I will get 40 in the denominator. So, what is that number? You should multiply with 8 to get 40. It is 5, right? 8 5 is a 40. So, multiply 5 in the denominator and also in the numerator. You cannot just change the denominator, you have to do the same changes in the numerator. So, multiply 5 in the denominator and in the numerator. So, 3 5 is a 15. So, we got 15 by 40. Same way for the second number, we have 2 by 5. I want 40 in the denominator. So, with 5, what I should multiply to get 40? What is that number? You should multiply with 5 to get 40 here. So, we know 5 8s are 40, right? So, multiply 8 in the denominator and also in the numerator. So, 2 8s are 60. So, here we got 15 by 40 and 60 by 40. Now, here is another uh, step which is really important. Here, I want to find out uh, rational numbers between these two. But if you observe here, there is a no, like I cannot find out a number between these two, right? After 15, why 15, we all, the next immediate number is 16. We got 16 by 40. But how to find out numbers between them? So, again, so in case you feel, whenever you uh, come across this kind of situation where the gap between these two numbers is very less. Here they have not asked us to find out a 5 rational number or so 10 rational number. They have just given that find a rational number between these two. A rational number means at least one number. But here there is no, no gap between 15 and 16. How do we find out this number in between these two? So, again we are going to find out the equivalent rational number of 15 by 40 and 16 by 40. Okay. So, we have first found out the equivalent rational number of 3 by 8 so that denominators will be same. So, we have got the denominator same but what happened the gap is not like it is not too, too much right. So, we want a more gap. So, for that again I am going to find out the equivalent rational number of these two numbers 15 by 40 and 16 by 40. So, again you have to multiply with number. So, when you are finding out the equivalent rational number, you can multiply with any number. So, in the first scenario what happened, we want 40 as a denominator. That is why we have multiplied with 5 here and 8 here. There was a specific reason because we want a 40, we want the same denominator. But again when you are finding out the equivalent rational number, it is not required to multiply. You can just take any number and multiply. So, here we have 15 uh, by 40. I am going to just multiply here. Uh, Let us take 2, you can take any number, I am just taking 2, you can take 100, you can take 10, 5 completely on you. Well, like if you want a more gap between these two numbers, you take the, the more number, the bigger number. If you want a small gap between these two numbers, you take a smaller number. Let me take a 5 here, instead of 2 I am going to take a 5 and do it. So, I am going to multiply 40 by 5 and 15 by 5. So, 15 5s are 75, so 75 by uh, 40 uh, multiplied by 5 will be 200. Now, the next number we have 16 by 40. Now, here also you have to multiply with 5. Why? Because if you multiply with some other number, your denominators will not remain same. The denominator should be same. So, again we are going to multiply here with 5. So, 16 multiplied by 5. Uh, so, 16 phi is 80. So, we will get 80 by 200. 
Now you can see that between 75 and 80 we have few numbers like 76, 77, 78, 79. We got a four numbers here. And since we have not asked any question, like we have not asked us to find out a specific like five rational number or ten rational numbers like that, I have taken five. Suppose you're asking you in the question to find out a three rational numbers or five rational number. How many are asked here? Suppose they're asking three. Then you take up a, uh, a number greater than three. Like uh, here, like when there's a no gap, like 15, 16, there's a no gap, right? I want to create a gap between these two numbers. So you take more than three in that case. In case you're asking three. Suppose you're asking you find the rational five rational numbers. And again, you came across a situation like there's a no gap. You take a number which is greater than five. You can start from six. You can take any number. So the greater the number you take, the more gap you will get, so more rational number you can write down. That's it. So we got 75 by 200, 80 by 200. So in between we have few numbers, we're going to conclude the answer. Therefore, I'm going to just write down three rational numbers or just rational numbers. Okay, so rational numbers, uh, rational numbers between 75 by 200. Or you can just write down the given uh, numbers. They have given 3 by 8, right? So 3 by 8 and 2 by 5. Remember, they all are equivalent rational number. 75 by 200, when you cancel it, when you reduce it, you will get back 3 by 8. So 3 by 8 is equivalent to 15 by 40. 15 by 40 is equivalent to 75 by 200. So they all are equal. Instead of taking 3 by 8, I am taking 75 by 200. That's it. So the rational numbers are... I'm going to start with 76, so 76 by 200, 77 by 200, 78 by 200 and 79 by 200. Now your answer will uh, like suppose you have taken some other number in this case I have multiplied with 5 suppose you have multiplied with 7 or 8 or 10 your answer will not match with my answer because completely on you what number you are multiplying with so it's and there are infinitely many rational numbers so it's not necessary that your answer should match with your textbook answers or my answer your teacher's answer it's not required only thing is you, have, you can just cross check the answer you can just divide if you want to check the answer you just divide 3 by 8 you will get the answer in decimal. Divide 2 by 5, you will get the answer in decimal. You can divide all these rational numbers you got, you will get the answer in decimal and you can see that these numbers actually fit between these two. You can cross check your answer in that way if you, if you have a doubt. So I hope this question is clear how to find out the rational numbers. In case you have other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.